Good afternoon all, just uh, another update on me discus tank. Suffered something in the last week or so called, well not the last couple of weeks really, called hexameter. It's a, like a, a bacteria or a virus that lives within the discus stomach. And basically when they go very uh, stressed or uh, early can succumb to it. So pretty much just showing you the video of where they are at the moment. That is lovely again now. And that was my other one, the one that was looking really washed out the other week. He's still not as bright as the other one, but his colours have improved massively. And in fairness, he's eaten again, which is a huge one. That'll always, obviously, well, it's, it's plain to say, but it's basically that'll always help your fish get better if they start eating and processing food. Um, that one there had massive amounts of, like, pitting on its head, starting to thin out. Now, after, like, a week's treatment of... Uh, Escher hexameter and raise me tank temp to like 33 degrees which on its own according to Stenka will help fight it is it it triggers your fish's metabolism so it'll basically and its defenses will kick in because of it so I think as a, as a combination it's probably helped massively um that one there had early signs but you see like it's a little bit of thinning on his head she's been eating again massively like she hasn't eaten in a while because he's basically been he's the bully of the tank the snakeskin uh leopard he's a terror uh the other one's pretty much neutral apart from that little one up there who's an absolute pain in the ass for a little fish basically batters all the other ones but i can see over the last probably six months the growth rate and that one there now was probably when i bought it was six well no not six inches four inches now it's probably easy five that one there's had a massive growth spurt that's why i sort of like doing my videos i'm sorry for the bubbles in the tank but i've just done uh, a bit of a water change and i've got my aeration on uh basically because i've run my tank temperature a lot hotter so just to make sure i don't suffer with oxygen deprivation that one is looking lovely i can't always help but focus on it sometimes you don't see it until your video and you, you see what you're not looking for when you're not videoing. That one there was one of my original pair, that one. And that one, which is uh, a Marlboro, uh, Marlboro Red. That's a nice one, man. Snake skin, uh, not snake skin, uh, checkerboard. That one's a uh, snake skin pigeon, which is quite nice. That one there uh, is a snake skin X uh, solid, which is like a, a basically a mixture of that one. And they and obviously snakeskin variety. That one there, hiding, which one has had a really big growth spurt, is a snakeskin red, which in lately has really coloured up like lovely. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed me a little bit of an update. Um, my fish look like they're well on the road to recovery, so I've took my time temp down slightly. I've stopped medicating because really you don't need to if there's nothing wrong, but that one is regaining colour daily, really now, which is what I'm really happy about. Uh, and that one is basically, you, you can see now because she's playing, but pretty much all of the pitting in the head has gone. Every single bit, like completely vanished, which is smashing, which is what I was after. Um, okay, thanks for watching.